Well, it's November, and for most of us, at least here stateside, uh, means Thanksgiving. For everybody, that's sort of the month where the holiday season really starts to get going full tilt. Um, I will be sharing some of my kitchen baking maybe later on, so you might get two of these this month. But I thought what I would do is I would show you, this is my studio, doesn't look like much, but this is where I do my recording for, uh, well, I did Dead Snapshot Portland here. So this is where I will be doing the Snapshot series. And if you look, my little wall of geeky goodness, all my little figures and zombie heads and buttons and everything else like that. So this is where, uh, like I said, this is where Dead, Snap Dead Snapshot was done. Um, let me uh, get out of this on my computer and uh, so you've seen ah you've seen my little studio and just kind of giving you a tour of things uh, taking you through the the living room um, I will say that uh, that is my center of happiness for mindless entertainment my little curved screen television it does 3d and simulated 3d so if the show is not in 3d you can make it 3d um take you out to the back got to try and keep the dogs inside because they'll try to go out but it's muddy right now so this is our backyard and uh gonna have it landscaped next year and if you look you see a street way over there uh our property goes all the way to there so all the woods and everything down there, those are ours, and uh, underneath all of that uh, canopy of green is where Denise's chickens live, and we have uh, our garden over there, which we'll get to, um, and you can see uh, I've gone outside, and so there's a pair of very anxious puppies who want to go outside as well. So, uh, continuing on with the tour, uh, taking you upstairs. So up we go, and while I'm doing this, I just want to take a moment and I want to wish everybody a happy holiday. The holiday season can be rough for some people. Um, it has statistically, I guess, the highest suicide rate uh, for any other time of year because people get, you know, they get down, especially if they're lonely. So. If you have a friend, reach out. Now's a really good time of year to reach out to those people that maybe you haven't talked to in a while and say hi to them, you know, let them know that they're not alone, that they're in your thoughts because uh, you might not even know it, but you might've saved somebody's life, you know? I mean, it's, you know, some of it could be the weather, some of it can be the holidays because you have all these people that get together and there's all this happiness and people who are normally solitary by nature even though they say they prefer solitude i'm one of them uh, this is that time of year where when you are alone you know you can really get down so if you know somebody now is a really good time to reach out to them and say hello you know let them know that you care so here's the upper deck uh, I mention it a lot when I talk about the new fee and everything else like that. So this is the view from the upper deck. And if you look, I mean, that's why I live here. You know, I mean, you just can't, to me, you just can't beat that view. Uh, here is uh, the side yard and we're still kind of tearing things up now. So this is where the garden and all the fresh veggies are going to come from next year. Um, we'll start them in the greenhouse and this year the greenhouse won't fall over hopefully and knock my seedlings all over the place uh, that I had a nice neat rows that were all labeled and uh, so then all I had was little green shoots didn't know what anything was and so I just we just planted it all um, it was a mess so uh, next year things will be a little bit better um, oh look there's our new fee Freya's come out and she has a stick Thank you. Can I have the stick? Thank you. 
So, yep, so there's the puppies. And everybody inside, yep, everybody inside. So, take you out to one more thing and show you. Uh, by the way, uh, Tim Winstrom, amazing artist. Every year uh, for Christmas, I try to get Denise another piece of his work because he just, the guy's awesome. Uh, so uh, look up timwinstrom.com if you're, uh, if you saw any of that stuff and were like, oh, that's cool, I wanna grab some. It's, it's amazingly affordable, it's just really cool. So now if you look, you can see, this is our front yard and it's all torn up. The landscapers will get here a little later on and they will finish it. So if I do a second message, I will share with you the after pictures. So, you know, take a look and see what all the befores are. And there's the old VW. But uh, yeah, if you uh, come back later on this month, if I do a second one of these for November, you will see the finished version of our front yard. And I mean, we just, we have a great group of landscapers here that are doing a fabulous job. Uh, and it's just, I mean, just fantastic what they've done. So, and this is not even finished. I mean, so I'm real excited because they'll be here later on today because it's still kind of early in the morning. Come on, puppy. Come on, Freya. Come on. Come here, baby. Come here, Freya. Freya, come. See how good she behaves? Freya, are you going to come to me? You want to go out front? Is that what it is? You got to come first. Come here. Come on. Wow, you're not listening at all. That's that's absolutely horrible. Hey, you. Hey. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's a good girl. There you go. Oh, yes. Oh, big noofy kisses. Yes. Okay. And, oh, okay. Here's Tyrion's magic trick. Tyrion the Frisbee dog. So, anyway, as I said, you've now seen everything, and I look forward to putting another one of these up. I think I'm going to make it a point to try and put another one up this month. Um, but until then, as I said, have a, you know, happy, uh, and it's just the start, holiday season, uh, like for those of you that have Thanksgiving coming up, uh, enjoy it, enjoy the time with your family and, and really kind of share in the moment. Um, but until then, uh, just, just be safe. And like I said, reach out to that one person that you know might be struggling. You, uh, you could save a life.